Swindler and, and I'm the fish vet. Today we've been called out to see Betty Blue. She's a blue flower horn cichlid. She's been emitting white feces and has stopped eating for the last week. So with these sorts of clinical signs, we're going to investigate whether she's got some sort of intestinal parasite problem uh, by examining the feces. We're going to take a sample of the feces. Freshly voided is the best. I'm just looking at the feces that we collected from the tank uh, to see what we've got. Uh, what we found is there are a lot of um, just commensal organisms that are in there, worms and ciliated protozoa, they're just part of the normal tank flora. Uh, but we have to look through that and see what pathogens we can find. What we found is we've got a lot of these capillary eggs. So they are oblong shaped and they've got the two capped ends, they're typical of capillary which is an intestinal roundworm parasite. This is the reason why the fish is having these white feces, in effect, diarrhea. So here's the fecal sample. Uh, I've got some light here. You can see a, quite a number of these oblong shaped structures, even size. Uh, they look sort of like lemon with the bipolar caps. Uh, so this is very typical for capillaria, which is an intestinal roundworm um, infection in fish. So we'll have a closer look um, at 40 times mag. Right now we're at 10 times. So the treatment method we're going to use is one that targets roundworms specifically. So we can use ivermectins or levamazole. Uh, in this case, we've got a 200 liter tank. We're going to use levamazole at 2 milligrams per liter. Uh, it's a, one of the safest drugs that we can use and it's the most targeted for the roundworm itself. So here we've dissolved 0.5 grams of 85% powder strength of levamazole to this tank. Uh, we're going to add it once a week for a minimum of three treatments. The reason for that is the levamazole acts on the adults. Uh, the egg stage is going to be protected by the shell and so this is why we have to do multiple treatments. Whenever you're adding medicine to fish tanks, always pre-valued it in a volume of water and distribute it evenly through the tank. So here we have Betty Blue. She has had the levamazole treatment in water. It's about five hours since we administered the dose. And you can see there's going to be there's a lot more of these white feces uh, around on the floor. Part of the treatment, uh, as you remember, uh, what we found were eggs in the feces. Uh, which are resistant to the levamazole medication. Uh, what we need to do as part of the treatment is to actually vacuum and siphon all this away as well to remove any infectious material. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to get updates for the latest videos and have a fantastic week.